we are going to spend a little bit of time talking, um, and as Alistair described, talking about traffic. Um, and we're going to try to uh, introduce a, a concept here where we're going to make cities smarter uh, using Geotab and a couple really neat new tools that came out recently in BigQuery. Um, and so for, for, for the next few minutes, what I would like us all to do is imagine ourselves not sitting here at a Strata conference, but instead we're going to step into the shoes of a traffic planner from the city of Chicago. Um, and this is, you know, Alistair called it this like marvelously choreographed dance. I have different, less lofty words for my traffic commuting experience, right? It's not a great way to start your day. Frankly, it's not a great way to end your day either. Um, and the, the list of pernicious outcomes for municipalities, like not just New York, not Chicago, not just where you're from, but the world over, um, are pretty extensive. Like, not just the lost opportunity or the opportunity cost of that lost productivity, um, but uh, commute times and long commute times can actually separate people from opportunity. And that disproportionately affects folks at the lower income ranges than folks at the higher. Um, and it, plainly, it's not good for the environment. Um, so as our city planners, right, we're all city planners for the next few minutes, how are we going to solve this? Well, we're not going to solve it by pouring concrete. I live in Seattle. There is simply not enough room between the water and the mountains to have a new 42-lane highway, which would probably solve the problem, but we, we can't do it. So smart cities all over the world are looking to data and analytics to solve this issue. And if you're going to do um, you know, so sorry, uh, things like real-time uh, adaptive streetlights, which are pretty cool, uh, uh, shared mobility solutions, like we all use uh, those ride shares. Um, and if you haven't heard about it, flying car share. It's a thing. If you don't know about it, go look it up. It's going to be awesome. Like, honestly, the Jetsons are, you know, quote, around the corner. <laughs> Um, but if you're going to do data and analytics, and if you're going to go to a data and analytics solution, you better start with good data. So enter Geotab. They're a customer of ours. Um, and this uh, image of the United States is not just a stylized picture to take up space on a slide. That is actually a point cloud image of one day of Geotab's location data. They're, in addition to being a telematics company, Geotab is also provides asset tracking services. So for example, all UPS trucks have a little Geotab box in them. And that box records position, velocity, and acceleration. And that acceleration part is going to come relevant later. Um, and once you have that data set, oh, sorry. And so you can infer quite a bit of what the traffic is doing around the world by looking at this data, right? It's quite dense data. Um, and what tools are they going to use? Well, I'm from Google. You almost expected this one to happen. Uh, BigQuery is Google's fully managed, serverless enterprise data warehouse. And that's where Geotab stores all of this data. And to process it for the demo that we're going to do later, we're going to use a couple really interesting tools. So just in July, we launched BigQuery ML. And to, do, to, to create this, we made up a few new SQL verbs that allow analysts right in SQL to train, evaluate, and predict with ML models. So instead of just having uh, machine learning be like that shining light at the pinnacle of the pyramid that we saw on a talk earlier, we are, tr by having these uh, commands inside of SQL, we're trying to bring this down so that any analyst, anyone that speaks SQL, can do ML. Similarly, we're launching today, right now, BigQuery GIS. And in so doing, we're making BigQuery the only cloud MPP enterprise data warehouse to have first class support of geospatial data types and functions. We're really excited about that. And we're also launching to beta BigQuery GeoViz. This is a lightweight visualization tool that solves the use case of I'm an analyst, and I just ran a query, and I want to visualize the results on a map. And then you can do some interactive styling, as the GIF here shows. So using BigQuery, BigQuery ML, BigQuery GIS, and um, Geotab's data, we are going to cut over to a demo. And again, this demo, all right, hold on. All right, sign of the times, right? And now we test if Chad can write his Excellent. So yes, I can enter my password in front of a lot of people the first time without messing it up. So 
so, again, we're Chicago city traffic planners, and this is an app that Geotab has built using the tools that we discussed just a second ago. And so what's going on here is on the left-hand side is a heat map of traffic in the city of Chicago. And on the right-hand side is going to be an ML-based prediction. And way on the right tab over here, I'm going to dial in some weather conditions, right? I'm going to make it a little bit colder, bring the visibility down. I'm going to order some snow. And we're going to pretend it's the holidays. And this is now running a prediction on, let's say, assuming those weather conditions, what is the traffic going to be? Interesting fact, they're actually using the public data set that NOAA publishes inside of Google Cloud Platform to do this join. So way to go, NOAA. Our tax dollars at work here. And so you can see that the map gets a lot hotter. And what we're going to do is we're literally going to double click into one situation right here. I've been waiting all month to use that pun. And so we'll take a look at this hot spot right here. Um, and the reason we've chosen this one is because uh, it happens to be right down the street, like just a little bit east of this school. Um, and so by presenting the results in a heat map on Google Maps, we also get the benefit of some of the other Google Maps infrastructure. And we can drop the street view avatar in and see what's going on. All right? so there's the school. Um, and let's go back down the street a little bit to the east. And what we can see here is that this is where the kids are storing their bikes. And there's an alleyway right next to it. So maybe what's happening is the kids are coming down uh, the alleyway and cars are having to react to them and hitting their brakes you know, just a little bit further up the street here. And as we pan around, we can also see that there's no traffic signage here at all. So maybe the right remediation is to put um, you know, preposition some sand. Maybe the right remediation is to actually put in a stop sign. But as the Chicago city planner, you've now used ML, GIS, Google Maps, and Street View to literally parachute into a problem and investigate what a good solution might be. If you're curious about how that demo works, um, and if you're curious to see the rest of the demo, uh, please come along to our talk. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Chad Jennings.